uh, in this video i'm going to do a demonstration of how to create a docker compose file uh, we know that what is a docker file and how to create a image by using docker file and all so suppose consider you have a hundred images or uh, like you have a 10 images consider you, you you're going to do a project and in that project you have a 10 containers so suppose if you want to manage this 10 containers so individually we have to create a pod and we have to manage uh, the networking and dependency host name so everything we have to manage so instead of that we can create a docker compose file so this file is going to bring all the information so as per our need okay so the common difference between this docker file and docker images so i'll give an example for example if you want to create an image okay so we can use docker file uh, if you want to pull up different image from different source like uh, from local or from docker hub or from any other sources okay so that you can use docker compose file as per your need uh, consider you have a database and uh, you have a wordpress image so you want to pull up these two images together and you want to connect these two images so manually we can do that first we can uh, create a database then i can create a uh, wordpress container then i can connect my uh, two containers each other that's possible but suppose if we want to do that simultaneously so at that time we have to uh, go with this docker compose file so uh, first i will create a virtual machine uh, then i'll add install docker i'll create an image for my uh, four containers because here i'm going to do a, a voting application we already discussed in last video how to create a voting application by using docker but at that time actually i created individual image then i connected images individually in the sense so first i created my voting application then i created a database then i created a disk cache then after i created a worker node so this will take a lot of time and it's very tedious task so not only that actually it will make some mistake as well right so what i'm going to do here i will create a virtual machine so in this virtual machine i will install docker first so i will create five images images in the sense one database uh, like one redis cache another one is a worker node and uh, one python voting application one node.js result application okay so then i will create a docker file in yaml language uh, yaml is actually it's a very intuitive in the sense uh, so we can easily we can understand so when we discuss ansible we already discussed about uh, yaml so uh, so that we have to learn to create a docker compose file okay so uh, we have to write like our uh, 10 lines code that's it uh, after this all containers will be bring together and uh, so th this will be create a small application voting application with a redis cache and a postgres database so uh, before i rush rush thing is th things in way i will just create a virtual machine so i'll go to my launch instance uh, i'll call it as uh, docker virtual machine name is docker so let me select uh, t3.micro or t2.medium so at least we required uh, two virtual cpu and four okay gigabytes memory that's fine uh, key pair i'm going to select uh, key one and here i'm going to select uh, port number thousand and thousand one because my voting application i'm going to deploy on thousand and uh, my result app i'm going to deploy in thousand one so we can add another security group rule click over here uh, custom tcp that is fine so port range that is a thousand and uh, source type this anywhere anybody can access okay so i need to add another another one thousand one then custom then i'll specify anywhere okay so now successfully i created uh, two port number that is fine i'll create a instance now successfully i installed or provision my docker virtual machine so now it's a pending so they will install operating system and dependency file so once it complete then i'll try to connect my virtual machine let's wait okay it's pretty it's running so i'll try to connect my virtual machine so we can use console connect rather than any other connect it is not working because actually it's just starting up so we have to wait a couple of seconds and it will come up yeah perfectly it's working 
so now we have to install docker then we have to uh, like uh, clone my repository then i have to create a image appropriate image so if you want you can uh, push this image into docker app as well but actually i'm not going to do the demo because yesterday itself we already created how to push one image into demo so that's what uh, you can refer that video as well okay. uh, so first we have to install docker so the command is uh, yum install yum install docker minus y so that is going to install docker Okay, next step uh, we need to start our docker service so we can use systemd service systemctl uh, then I will use start docker okay so that will start my service uh, let me check whether it is started or not so let it complete here so we can replace the start and status and, and you can see that success, successful exactly one running in the sense it's working now right so our next step is we need to uh, clone the repository for that we need a git okay as of now i don't have any git if i execute git command you can see that bash command not found in the sense this command actually is not recognized by my system so i have to install git so for that m install git minus y so that is going to install git okay so later i'll go to my github then i will uh, try to call cloud okay so i'll go to my github i'll go to my github so let me check the repository name docker voting application here okay, i'll copy this i'll come to my virtual machine then i will paste over you so the command to clone github uh, git clone we can use git clone then space then we have to put the uh, url over you and this is going to clone my repository you can see that uh, docker voting application new i'll go to my docker applic uh, voting application new Less you can see that all the files are over you. So I require this voting application, result application, and worker application. So rest all I will skip as of now because we will discuss that later. Okay. So I'll go to CD voting application first. Yeah. So now I'm inside this voting application. Already I created a Docker file. So the purpose is we need to create an image now. Okay. I'll create an image. Docker build. So we can specify the current directory and minus t tag I'll specify as port. So that will create a vote application, front end application. Successfully created. Uh, next, I'll go to my CD. LS, I'll go to my result application. See, so we'll go to CD and result. Result application ls you can see the docker file over here so i'll try to create an image for my uh, vote application so the result application so docker built my current directory and minus t result application and so that will create a one result application image so once it create then i'll try to create one worker application image so later i will create a docker image because we don't need to create any image for uh, uh, Postgres or uh, Redis because Redis and Postgres already like uh, someone like the uh, different vendors they've already up, up, uploaded to uh, Docker app. That's why we no need to bother about that. Okay, uh, I created. I'll go to my worker application now. CD worker ls. Okay, uh, Docker then build then dot minus tag and tag name is my worker application. I'll put worker. Fine. Even we no need we no need to create this image manually. So we have an option in Docker compose file as well. Okay, so you can specify dot slash and uh, the Docker file path. Automatically it will uh, create an image for the particular e Docker file. So then it will uh, pull up all the images together. Then it will create one application. So we can do that, but manually I'm just doing. Uh, but if you want, you can try that. Okay, or else I will create a different video for that. No worries. Okay, successfully I created three images. Uh, if you go to Docker images, you'll be able to find the images over you. You can see that. So I have a worker image, uh, I have a result image, I have a vote image. You no need to bother about this none. 
and this MCR, Python and Node. Okay, these all are actually dependencies in the sense uh, when I created my worker application that is created on Node.js, right? So that's what one Node.js image has been downloaded. Same as when I created my voting application, so that I created by using Python, so Python has been downloaded. Same as when I created my result application that I created, I think Node.js. So, so and result I created by the help of Node.js and worker I created by the help of .NET. Okay. Uh, that's what uh, we have uh, some different uh, images over here you don't need to bother about that so now i will create my docker compose file okay so before you create a docker compose file you have to make ensure you already installed docker compose on your system to install docker compose uh, we can use this command if you want i can put in uh, like a description uh, or else you can just uh, google it you'll be getting from google itself okay so i'll download my docker Compose you can see that docker compose version and version number is uh, 1.21, right? So now I'll try to create a docker compose file. So here you can see that I don't have any files, right? Okay, let me go to desktop ls cd uh, Here you can see that I don't have any files uh, Except docker voting application. I'll create a docker compose file over here to create a docker compose file We can use nano then docker then compose dot uh, given ex extension as y yml or yaml okay and uh, so i'll create a file over here so first we have to create a redis image right so we have to create a redis image and i will call it as image redis so then uh, we have to create one database so we'll call it as db as a host name uh, then i will call it as image so image name postgres we can use any version no problem so i'll just call it as my latest image okay so if you're not specifying any tag automatically it will download the latest one so next i will specify okay before i'll do one thing before i'm specifying this db i'll specify the port as well so we can specify the ports uh dot dot slash and i'll specify port number I can give two, three, four, five because Postgres by default it will take two, two, three, four, five. We don't need to mention the port number, but even though I will take the port number. Okay. Next, I'll specify environment because we required password and username, right? So we must have to enable that environment. Come down. Then I can specify environment over here. I'll specify environment as. Um, Postgres user then I'll specify Postgres okay because in my uh, image I've been already created one connection my SQL connection sorry Postgres connection so that I created that I mentioned my username that is a Postgres same as I mentioned one password Postgres and then I mentioned one database name uh, like a DB Okay, so that's what I created database name DB over here. Okay, and uh, username as Postgres and password as Postgres. Postgres underscore password. So I'll specify Postgres again. Okay, I think everything is okay. Right, okay, fine. So next is I need to create one uh, voting application. So let's create a voting application image so voting application image is port and we have to specify the port as well ports port number we have to specify minus a link okay what is the port number i have to specify thousand i can specify thousand because i've been already enabled my uh, security group as thousand thousand what right that's what thousand then container port that is 80 so one more Okay, one more field I have to enable like a link. Okay, link. Link in the sense I, I need to link this voting application with my uh, Postgres. Sorry, Redis cache. If I go to my GitHub, you will be able to find the architecture over here. See, uh, so this is my voting application. I need to integrate with my Redis application. This is going to pass and this is going to cache my uh, output like whatever the result, sorry, whatever the input got from users. And this is going to pass to Redis and it is going to pass to my worker application worker application is going to process and it then it will push to my database so database that will push to my result application so that i can uh, see the result like whatever the result okay so i'll go to my uh, server again let me go okay so links uh, links i have to specify redis cache only right 
let me specify only red discussion two space then i'll specify redis that's my uh, link so next i have to create a worker application two space so for worker application we have to specify the image image name worker application and uh, then we have to specify uh, next links okay we no need to enable any port and all but link that is mandatory links okay then i'll specify the link as redis so that's mandatory and same as i have to specify db as well okay then i'll specify now result application result to space then i'll specify a uh, port number ports so what is the port number the port number is 1002 sorry 1001 and 80 I've been already predefined that port. So next, after port, I have to enable link. Right. So link I have to enable DB. So because my uh, voting application, uh, like uh, not voting application, my result application that is only connected with my database, and database that is connected with my worker application, worker application connected with my Redis and DB, and Redis is connected to my voting application. Uh, so that's what I connected like that. Okay. So I hope everything is ready. So now I'll, I'll try to uh, run this Docker Compose file. Let me just cross check once again. Redis image is Redis and database image is Postgres and port so two three four five and environment Postgres user Postgres user okay fine Postgres password also fine. Uh, voting application. So when it comes to the voting application, image is a vote okay. Port number thousand eighty link Redis and worker image worker link. Uh, redis and db and result application that is okay that's fine a small uh, like uh, uh, yaml script right next control or enter control x okay so I, i'll run this then docker compose then I'll specify up minus t and this is going to create uh, my containers now let's wait so successfully it's created my containers i'll go to uh, my virtual machine then i'll get the public ap address then i'll copy and paste okay this is my public ap address so 1001 it's working and i'll check 1000 as well yeah 1000 also it's working right see both are working you can see over here so both are it's working if i uh, press cat you'll be able to find the vote will be generated and uh, the cat will be get all the vote if i press dog So the dog will be get all the what the same as cat. So why it's not working? I think it's not processing the what. Okay, the IP address that is a different that's what I'm sorry. I'll do one thing. I'll go to my because I've been already created some other containers. I'm creating this video before I'm creating this video. So let me go to my the same IP address one thirty five. I'll open this. Where is my one thirty five server? So this is supposed to one thirty five. One thirty five thousand. Yeah, it's working perfectly. It's working. This one and this one. Okay. So here I will mention one thousand one. You can see that see cat having hundred percentage. And uh, this dog having zero cat, so cat having hundred percent. If I press dog, you'll be you can see that the dog having hundred percent. If I press cat again, cat having hundred percent. So we now need to create each container uh, manually or individually. Instead of that, I can use this file, Docker file. See, if if any virtual machine, so any virtual machine, I want to create this uh, this application. So I only need to copy this file. so this docker file so this is going to uh, create this application automatically okay complete automation okay so uh, for that we need to push this image into our github first then only we can pull as a private repository sorry public repository uh, so this image is available on my system now but if you want to install this application you can use the docker compose file but the image is that is not publicly available so for that i need to push that image into particular docker okay then only it will work Okay, I hope you understood, 
and if any other doubts please uh, comment and you can uh, put in comment i'll reply over there thank you thank you so much